anything at that point was uh, freshman, sophomore players that didn't have a lot of experience in the high school level of you know, being that deep in the playoffs. Uh, they had some good experience at the club level of playing in some high level games, but uh, we went in kind of wide eyed and you know, not sure of the, the process and uh, how things went. And you know, ultimately in the end, we let one girl beat us. Um, it kind of, for me too, I was a little more inexperienced as a coach, hadn't been in there in the finals either. So I think we learned a lot through that first one. So we had played a good schedule and had a good record, but uh, I think in the back of our head, we always had Sacred Heart in our mind and that uh, we were gonna see them at some point. And um, I think that's one thing throughout the years that has kind of changed is our belief. You know, it's easy to say, oh, you know, we, we know we can beat them and to believe it. So I think we had that in the back of our head that year that um, it was gonna be tough to get by them and it was. You know, I thought we had a chance. Our, our defense, you know, we had talked about the other night at the game, uh, our defense had been playing well all year. And, and if you would have told me someone was going to score three goals on us, I would have been surprised and said that wouldn't happen. So I definitely thought we had a chance to keep it close um, and then try to get a goal in, in the end, maybe to win a 1-0 game. But I definitely didn't see it going 3-0. We were a little apprehensive and sat back on our, our heels a little bit. and. Um, you know, that, that just didn't play to the strengths of our team and really just put us in a bad situation when we went down early in the game and just struggled to really, then once we started pressing to try and get in a tie goal, then that just opened us up even more in the back. So. You know, it's, it's funny because that age group in particular, that was uh, like Bailey and Anna and uh, Reader, all those, they had played those Ben Franklin girls in club since they were 12 years old, and after they were 12, had finished second every year. So I think that, again, it was a mental thing that Ben Franklin team had not lost a game in four years. They were three-time state champions going undefeated. Um, so I still think in our head we, we knew we could compete, but I don't know if we believed that we could beat them. Um, and, and same thing going into the game. They had a, the all-world striker, Alex Thomas, who ended up playing signing at LSU that we knew we had to deal with. And um, similar to the previous game, we had a, a, a difficult start. We were down 1-0 five minutes in and then kind of were chasing the game and, and really finished strong in the game to only lose 3-2 and had a lot of chances to tie that game. Uh, we missed a, a great chance to tie from, uh, played a ball over the top of the goal from really the six yard box. Madeline Mays had a, a nice uh, opportunity to finish and, and just happened to hit it over. And uh, we were actually were fighting our way back into the game and then as we started to press a little more offensively, got caught on a counter with Alex again to make it 2-0. So at that point in the game, that was kind of the turning point where I changed my formation. I ended up moving freshman uh, Lily Balubas out of the defense and into the midfield. Um, they had three great midfielders that all ended up signing Division I uh, scholarships to go play at Ben Franklin. And once I moved Lily into the middle, it really made the game a lot more even. We were able to create a lot more chances and ultimately get back into the game. Yeah, it seemed like, you know, every time we get there, there's some team that is just an all-world team that shouldn't, you know, is a once-in-a-lifetime a team that we have to play against. So I definitely think experience-wise, we were we were more ready. And um, that showed from being down 2-0 and able to come back and, and, again, lose a close 3-2 game. We didn't just uh, give up like the season before where we kind of packed it in, put our heads down. So I was really proud of that effort. Um, the girls were proud of the way they played, and I think we're really unlucky not to tie at the end of that game. So. Yeah, so the previous season we had lost to Vanderbilt in the semifinals away. And, uh, so we, we had played them many times, and we knew that that's who was going to be there in the end. Um, we felt confident going into the game uh, based on some of the matchups that we had. And really, um, preparation-wise, we were very prepared. We were confident. Um, we went in well to the game. We, we gave up a goal again. Um, kind of the, our theme of the finals has been go down early and try and fight your way back. So again, I think it was two minutes into the game, we're down 1-0. Um, we had planned all leading up to the game to not let their striker get in behind us, so we sat off a little bit. She said, okay, I'll shoot from 30 yards and put it in the top corner. <laughs> so uh, backfired a little bit, but again, fought back. And you know, for me, that game is the one that stings the most right now because uh, we had four what I would call clear penalty kick situations after it was 1-1 to win that game that were not called. And, um, was probably our only finals where I thought officiating really played um, a role in it, and I, I thought we deserved better. Um, fantastic game from both teams. The goals in the game, all three of them were just incredible. 
unsavable goals, but uh, I really felt like we deserved a better result. Um, you know, I have a, a connection to those seniors that were there in the first two because, you know, that group of parents and players is really what brought me here. So I would have loved for those seniors to get uh, one of those finals. But this last one was just one that I felt was a little more unjust. You know, we, we deserve better. And, you know, I thought that in the previous two we were beat by a better team than us, and I didn't feel like that was the case in the last one. Um, you know, one of the big messages always for me is don't come out of the, the game with any regrets that you can leave everything on the field. And um, that last one, I really felt like the girls just thought, man, what, what an effort we gave, you know, what a great game it was. And they were sad and upset, obviously, but um, I don't think anyone walked off that field thinking they could have given anything. Yeah, I definitely want them to, to realize that it's something special. I think, you know, uh, not a lot of players get the opportunities that we've had here to compete in those games. And again, I think that comes back to the message of don't waste an opportunity, you know, and, and if you you do everything you can and you play to the best of your ability and, and we come up on the wrong side of it, that's how you come out of that being okay. Um, so I want them to have the realization that this could be their last game. Those seniors, for most of them, it will be. Um, and I think the big difference for us this year is we, we believe that we are the best team and that um, when we look at the preparation, what we've done, we actually believe this year that they cannot beat us. And, and I think that's really a, a big mental difference this year is um, the only team that's going to beat us is going to be ourselves.